I'm Mighty. My name is Icy. And you're watching All Key Shop TV. TV. So for, for today, guys, we have a special loop for the All Key Shop PZ game deals. There is a special code hidden somewhere in the studio, and this code can be used to complete an entry and answer a special question on our Gleam giveaway. That's right, and this awesome giveaway gives you the chance to win 20 coins every day. So let's have an exclamation mark. <laughs> Yes, simply <laughs> type exclamation mark deal in the chat to to access the chat and on our giveaway page and complete all entries. So there you have it guys. Good luck to all who will be participating and I hope that you are going to find the hidden code somewhere in the studio. So guys, good luck. So update our first headline would be new Overwatch map now available in the PTR. <laughs> Box 4, Shadow War DLC announced. I say is really into this, guys. So, <laughs> alright. PUBG training mode coming to PC next month. And a lot more of news update, guys. So, first of all, let's talk about Overwatch. It's getting a new map and it is the best surf or turf, guys. The new arena will be available in the public test realm for now and it features the home city of Diva, which is Busan. And the location has a mix of traditional Asian architecture as well as modern life. And it will also feature three distinct sections, a serene sanctuary area that includes some temples and gardens. And a downtown as well as the Mecca squad base. As the trend goes, it usually doesn't take long for something from the PTR to go to public play. Yes, there you have it guys. I'm going to uh, watch the preview of the Overwatch map. Now moving on to the next update, let's talk about Call of Duty World War II's fourth DLC pack called The Shadow War has been announced by Activision via a trailer. Well, this will conclude World War II's Nazi Zombie storyline and will come with three multiplayer maps which are Airship, Chancellery, and Excavation. The new Operation Arcane will also be the final piece of content for the DLC. Well, Shadow of War will first come to PlayStation 4 players on August 28th and will later be released for PC and Xbox One, but a specific date has not been revealed yet. Yes, there you have it guys, Call of Duty World War II. And that's for Call of Duty. Let's now head into PUBG training mode coming to PC next month. And PC players of PUBG rejoice as a new model mode is coming to you as part of the Fix PUBG initiative. This was requested for quite some time now and next month we'll see its fruition. Well, this is the training uh, mode. Here, players are able to test anything and everything there is about a game like vehicles, weapons, skills, vaulting, parachuting, you name it, they've got it. The mode can support from 5 to 20 players and it is set in a desert map which is 2 by 2 kilometers. It will have a shooting range, a parkour course, and so much more. So guys, there are a lot of things that you have to expect guys from PUBG. Guys, now let's talk about the next update, which is about the community who will players experience three different stories, and it's the journey story mode. And Alex Hunter will be back for the third and final time, and with him are his good pal Danny Williams and his sister Kim Hunter. Well, all three of them are playable characters, so the trailer shows Alex Hunter starting out in Real Madrid, with a story centered on the newly added Champions League. Well, his sister Kim's focus is establishing herself in the U.S. national team, while Danny is shown in a Manchester United strip. Yes, there you have it, guys. FIFA 19.
And that's for FIFA 19. Now let's move on to the next update, which is all about Epic Games wants you to feel secure with your account. So they are encouraging players to activate two-factor authorization as another security measure. Players who opt into the feature will get an exclusive Fortnite emote and the Boogie Down. Well, in case you didn't know, two-factor authorization is an added security feature where a personal account or device gets verified either by sending a text to a number associated with, this, with the account or an authentication link via email. Alright guys, now let's move on to the next update which is about the 2 Interactive has adjusted NBA 2K's loot boxes in order to apply with the Belgian gambling laws. Well, the changes were done specifically to the NBA 2K My Team feature. And 2K said in a statement that they will be turning off the ability to purchase packs with a premium currency or virtual currency. Well, my team lets players create their custom team and one way to acquire players is to buy random cards. And this mechanic has been deemed legal in Belgium. So there we have it guys, news about NBA 2K. And so, that's for NBA 2K19. Now, we have the once known as Raiders of the Broken Planet has been relaunched as Space Lords from developers Mercury Steam. The game is now available as free to play for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Well, Sp Space Lords has gone through a complete revamp of its progression system in order to welcome all types of players, from the new ones to the experts. The devs are also planning to add more new content for the game in the months to come. Well, along with the announcement is the launch of the game's campaign trailer. So yes. Go and check it out or go check out the um, PV for this update. Alright guys, now let's talk about Sci-Fi Battle Royale game Storm Divers announced already and it is the house mark revealed their new Battle Royale game which is, as I said earlier, Storm Divers. Well guys, Storm Div Divers is a third person sci-fi multiplayer Battle Royale shooter that pu puts players in an island where they not only need to fight each other but also dodge a devastating nano storm. Built on Epic's Unreal Engine just like other Battle Royale games, Storm Divers will support solo and team modes. Well, it is currently being developed for PC and it is expected to be released in 2019. So go ahead and check this out. And there you go. So let's now head to Gears for Breakfast made two big announcements for a hat in time during this year's Gamescom. Yes, guys, and the first was that the game is headed to the Switch. And the second is that there is a couple of free content inbound for the game. And a story add-on called Seal the Deal will include new story content, six new time rifts, and a higher difficulty mode called Death Wish. We'll see the deal, or Seal the Deal will be free 24 hours when it releases on September 13th, and so make sure guys to get it then. A local cop mode will also be released for free on the same day. September 13th, it is. With the free co-op DLC, you can bring a friend along for the entire adventure.
Now guys, let's talk about Sea of Thieves. So Sea of Thieves fans, listen very carefully because the newest update for the game called Forsaken Shores will launch on September 19th as revealed by Rare during Gamescom 2018. Forsaken Shores will bring a volcanic world to the game called the Devil's War, which is an island that will from time to time shake, erupt, uh, flying rocks launch geysers as well as hit up the water around it to the point that it could burn you alive. Yes, a robot has been included because of this and new merchant missions will also be introduced called Cargo Runs. Yes. Oh my god, burn you alive. That's scary. Alright, so now let's talk about Fortnite's latest patch. Update 5.30 is out this week and it adds the limited time mode score royale. Well, this mode gives players a new objective, get the highest total number of points. And players earn points by collecting coins, which are scattered all throughout the map. Well, the first player to hit 2,000 points wins the match. And this mode will test how players will plan out how they play, because the earlier they get points, the better. But with other players with the game's same goal, players must rethink their strategies. That's right. So Fortnite players out there, I know you guys are very excited for this. And, uh, And that's for Fortnite, so let's now head into the US expansion pack for World of Warcraft, which was recently released and was able to set a series-wide record for day one sales. The expansion is Battle for Azeroth, which was able to reach 3.4 million in sales on August 14th. This so far is the highest day one sale for any expansion for the game according to Activision and the Blizzard. Battle for Azeroth is the seventh expansion available for the World of Warcraft. And the second expansion for the most day one sales is Legion, which released in or on 2016, guys. So, World of Warcraft.